Hi guys, it's Dr. Jillard again. Uh, we're continuing our journey through the facial skeleton or the visceral cranium. Uh, let's talk about the mandible in this series. So, first thing we have here in the mandible, we have this big prominent structure here. That's called the mental protuberance. Mental protuberance. Uh, and it also has its little sidekicks here, which aren't as big. It has, these are called the mental tubercles, which are also little uh, bumps, not as big as the protuberance here. There's the mental foramen here for the passage of the, good, the mental nerve, mental nerve. Now if we turn this to the side, notice it's also a one-piece bone. Uh, we have three main parts. All of this part, this is all the body. This is all the body of the mandible. This more vertical part, all of this, is called the ramus. Ramus of the mandible. And they meet in this little curve here. This is called the angle. The angle of the mandible. We have a process up here. It looks like a shark fin. That's the coronoid process. The coronoid process gives life kind of hard to see on this model, uh, to a ridge of bone that comes down like this. It's called the oblique line. Some important muscles attached there. Uh, the muscles that depress the lower lip attach here. And then we have the condylar process back here. This is actually the neck of the condylar process. And let's go ahead and I took my camera, put my camera down and pull this out. Let's take a look at this a little closer. This is again going to be important for the temporal mandibular joint. And now you can see this is all the head of the condylar process. Some call it the mandibular condyle as well. It fits into the mandibular fossa. And it's again, in sixth quarter, we are going to really hit this hard. So you're going to learn all about TMJ disorders. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to say there. Let's start to turn this bone to the side. Okay, there's the mandibular foramen. And there's the lingula that covers it. This isn't the greatest depiction of it, but it's still... I mean, this skull, I can't talk enough about this skull. And of course, manufacturers, manufacturers aren't paying me to say that. that. I just I really like it. it. It's, it's my, my Christmas, Christmas present this year. year. Here we have the mylohyoid line here. I think it was just called the line. I'll correct that above if I'm wrong there. And then in the front, remember we have the, and this, this is usually more prominent. It's not very good here. Uh, but there's the mental spines. The anterior, the superior and inferior mental spines would be here. And the digastric fossa would be under here on each side. Okay, short and sweet, mandibles done. Let's move on to something more challenging.